Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Plume Lumière Tarot. I hope you're all doing good. So today, the reading will be about the sign and ascendant of the Scorpio, and this is for the month of March to 2021. So, the first two cards that came out, I have um, this first one here. It, it came reversed. It's a master craftsman. Okay, it's a master into craftsmanship. Okay, this person did a lot with his hand. So you did work a lot. You did push a lot. You gave so much without counting your time, without counting your energy. You've been giving, giving, giving. And now, when it's reversed like this, it's payback time. So expect to receive recognition. Expect to receive Congratulations. Expect to receive. If you've been helping people with money, it's payback time. So every time, everything is going to return to you 10 times over. Okay, so this is a very rewarding time. So this is good for you. The next card that came for you, the energy card that came, is attachment. But it came, I'm very grateful. It came upside down because of course you don't want this you see look at the chain look at the mask very caught into her image and once once this card falls in this position so it's a new way of doing things it's a more healthy way of interact the interaction that you're having with other people is way way more healthier um you are getting rid of of old pattern old way of doing things old attachment you are just freeing yourself from those old way of thinking but they say also you have to make sure that you don't return to those old places because you are right now into um, a kind of a revolution to become a new you and this is good you have to make sure that you are in control of your own life your own decision okay so um you know this decision that you're thinking for yourself with yourself for yourself make sure that you keep it Make sure, honor yourself, you know, allow yourself to have those feelings, allow yourself to live differently because you realize that the old you, the old way of living, always thinking about the others is not the only way that you can live your own life. And probably you're not that appreciated after all, all right? So let's move to the next couple cards. So. Right in the middle here, we find the Four of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Justice that crosses all that. So that means right now you are into, into a situation where you probably need a little break. You need to take advantage of maybe one young person at home that needs you, your attention, needs a little time with you. It could be just because you can already see because you've been slacking off a little bit just to breathe better that it does you a, lo a lot of good it, it gives you a lot of advantages to do something like this just take a little easier and with this card you are encouraged to be more in balance you know don't try to overwork yourself don't try to push yourself too much you deserve a little break take that little break the world's going to keep going, and you have to believe that you deserve it, okay? This is a fair, this card is fair, this, far is, this card is just, this card is justice, so if you deserve it, you can take it, and there's no consequences. You need to be nice to yourself. You, you need to be kind to yourself, okay? So you can take a little break. I would say there's a lot of testosterone into this reading because you have the King of Cup at the base, you have the King of Sword right behind you. And you're gonna switch right here, 
right away just to tell you what you have you have the knight of, of sword and you also have the knight of um of pentacles a lot of male figure cards and of course you had the page of pentacle so this is all a lot of the stuff thrown here so that means decision that also means action so this king of cup at the base that i find over here is a king that is a good person as a consultant he is a good person because he is it could be emotionally emotionally involved with you it could be someone that is a male figure from your family that mean could be an eldest brother it could be your husband it could be your father even it's just someone that is there very caring and making sure that you know they care for you he is great at counseling also he has some uh, life experience that are is very very valuable and is the one that if he doesn't know how to help you is going to be able to give you some clue and contact where to go to get some support he is very supportive right behind you my my feeling is that you had to go to um some kind of counseling but this this person here represents most of the time a person that works with um, accounting, works like with banks, work with justice, works with uh, medical field. It's it's a very serious person, a person of very, with a lot of very valuable experience. And this person right now seems to be like right behind you and put you on track for something. And my belief would be like. It give, give you some financial advice because here with the five of pentacles that you have right in your present, I have the feeling that you are, okay, this five of pentacles is always a perception that you're having about money, that you always compare yourself to the others. And at this point with this card, it tells me that even if you, your glass was full, you would be having no um, financial problem. You would still compare yourself to other people and you would still try to, you know, focus on the lack of something instead of focus on what your real asset is. So I think that you had some, probably some consulting done with your books, your um, accounting, uh, your, your money or bank account or something. And now you are very much into okay i need to do something to correct the situation to have it to be a little better because you feel even if you have you always feel that you should have more so what happened now what's coming for you is you're gonna have to make a decision to let go of something there's probably um since we are into a money aspect right there, so I would even go as far as saying that maybe you have an old debt that you are getting rid of. It could be that you pay off something just to be over with. It could be some contract that you're finishing. It could be something that you, if you, you actually thinking about turning your back and go in another direction. It could be it could be some kind of agreement because you have this card here also, the justice that's there. It could be some kind of agreement that you're reaching that is going actually to free yourself from something that you don't want anymore. So, where are you going to find yourself? So, I'm going to name those cards so I can show you also on the screen. You have the sun, the arcanum number 19 you will have the queen of one you have the four of pentacles and you have the knight of sword after that there's the ace of cup two of sword the queen and the knight of uh, pentacles what happened here it, i i have the feeling that you're going to find yourself into a situation where you're going to be in front you're going to have to be assertive. You're going to have to make sure that you come across with like a very, a person that has a lot of reflection and now has a firm idea of where to do, what to do and where to go and how to make things happen. Because the sun is a very assertive card. 
This is a card of brilliance, but it's also a card of decision. This is a card where you got to, I find you, you find yourself into a way that you are feeling strong. Okay. Now, the perception that people are having when they're looking at you, they see, well, into a queen of one, there's always a person that is very dedicated, very active, very energetic. This is a person that when she goes into a team, into a crowd or something, she draw the people to her. I'm saying her, but it could be a him. What I'm saying is that you have this charisma, you know, that, that charisma that bring people around you. So this is a very, an excellent, actually, that's very good, depending on how, what you want to do. You want to steal the jewel of the queen, maybe you should go a little bit under the carpet. But if this is not your intention and you want to be accepted and, and looked at, well, you know, being yourself and having this kind of attraction is a very good thing. The four of pentacles, that is your biggest fear, biggest hope, is actually you always constantly doubting of your abilities to um, have a solid foundation for your financial, for your the family, something that you want to set up. And you constantly doubt yourself. So maybe it's another old pattern that you need to get rid of. The card that crown your um, spread of card is the Knight of Sword. You see, uh, I'm, I'm going to say it because it's there. So, you see this guy here? He makes decision. He's a little impatient. He doesn't want to know for an answer, but when, when he decides, he goes very fast. The thing is that this guy here make a decision, turn his back on the situation. So, here, I, I'm just going to say it because I'm, I'm scared that for some of you that's going to happen. Make sure you turn your tongue seven times before you speak because you could happen to just do something a little quickly sometimes, a little too fast, okay? And it could be tricky. So make sure that you read everything carefully and make sure that you know all those little fine print, you see everything before you sign anything. Those last cards, it appears to me that you have someone, a significant person in your life that is right there. This person actually is into a situation, a position where she's just like standing there holding everything, thinking that she is probably responsible of a lot of that, um, the, the strength of the situation you are into. You know, she feels probably a lot like she carries some of the burden and she's scared that she's going to let go of something and everything's going to collapse. So this is why she's holding the knife like this. You see, she cannot let go. That also indicates some kind of friction, you know, sometimes some kind of duality, okay? Maybe she would like something, but deep down inside there's a little something else also. So make sure that you discuss everything properly. So I see you both as if you are a couple, as a very nurturing, in sync couple, very in sync for your personality wise, for the goal that you're sharing. If you are not a couple, if it's just a, a kind of an association or something, we can see that this person right here is nurturing. Whatever she has so, she's taking care of it. She is the gardener of those petal cards, okay? She is the gardener. She's going to make sure that she protects what's hers. This one here, the messenger here, is a very ambitious person. So together, as a team, they go far. So actually, um, if it's somebody at home that lives with you, or if it's somebody that you know that is close to you, it seems like there should be some kind of direction of something very practical that's going to happen. Okay? The last two cards, I'll return to the contract here. Okay. It seems like there's a, there's a contract. You see there's a pen and a contract there. And there's also the, the, the cross on, on the tree. 
I have the feeling that for some of you, um, some are expecting to be able to sign certain documents, certain papers that are official. And this shows actually that it's probably a good thing that it's retired. It. It's going to be some kind of, of um, either it's canceled, either the contract is canceled, or either the time frame that you had for those documents to be filled and the action taken, I think that's going to fall in the drain. So this is what I had for you, uh, the Scorpio, for this month of March. I hope you appreciated it. I hope I'm going to be able to see some of your comments, a thumbs up, or even just simply subscribe to the, chain, to the channel. I'm going to be here for you again in April. So take care and so long, everyone.